Yo, what's up, guys? What's up, Roger? What's up? Long time no see. Dang, it's been a minute. <laughs> Gen <laughs> genuinely a big smile on my face because uh, it's been so long. Both been yeah. so busy. I don't want to get too much into it. If you're in the Discord, we had a little conversation about it. Uh, for one, real quick, I want to thank you guys in the Discord for caring and wondering where we were and hoping we're all right. We're okay, right? You're okay, right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Very much okay. Yeah, we're good. We're just working full time jobs and projects and hobbies and family and all and relationships, all that stuff. Uh, we came back for a couple of videos this week. We're going to do uh, a very special video where we react to some trailers that made us hype, like just two each. Just for now, if you guys like this idea uh, or have some trailers that you guys like that you think we should check out, like that got you hype and you saw the reveal trailer for, let us know in the comments. And we're also going to do a song video later on also. But for now, we're checking out some trailers. Uh, this is your trailer, right, Roger? Yep, this is mine. Um, this is basically the reveal for Resident Evil 2 Remake. They already announced that they were working on the game, but this is the first time they actually showed it. Mm -hmm. um, and the way they set it up, they no one knew it was Resident Evil 2 until it got to a certain point and yeah. you'll probably see it in the video and man and re2 remake was like like you said they were they are probably they didn't even announce it at, the, at one point but they people were really feeling like it was gonna happen because they were begging so much and you could tell and if you could kind of feel it in the air you know what i mean and yeah well the, the the remember the developers they 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 announced that they were gonna work yeah, on we go, it we do it the, <laughs> yeah the we do it shirt but it was that was years before they showed this yeah so people forgot about it and then when they saw this they didn't know what it was mm. so all right let's get to it then oh by the way yep. we're gonna go to his video my video and et cetera, back and forth all right let's do it you see it yep oh yeah they did a perspective of a rat Right. Mm-hmm. PlayStation One. Hello? Anybody there? Something's not right. You can hear the people in the crowd whispering like that's a PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, what is going on? This is what happens in the game, but you don't see the perspective. Right. You hear how quiet it is? I'm putting you under arrest. Cup noodles, no. Ooh. Call back to Resident Evil One. Fuck. This is when they Holy realized what it was. Shit, look at that, dude. I love the callback because they had they were zoomed in on the rat's eye and went out because you yeah. know Risen was always the eye thing. Yep. Imagine seeing this in person. If you see right. one of those things, uniform or not, those days are gone. You do not hesitate. Whatever it takes to save this city. I'm surprised you made it this far. Need info on my extraction. Survival's your responsibility. God damn it. Will you help me? Of course. It's an impressive display of strength. <laughs> but we never meant for this to happen. Wow. This looks crazy. I, just, I forgot all about this. It's coming. It's coming back. Is 
Damn, bro. I remember seeing that because it was right next to my birthday. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. And that was that they showed this the summer before that January. So people were like, it's that close. Because uh, the previous E3s, they were showing uh, trailers and then it would be like two years until the game comes out. But uh, dang, man. Yeah. They've been working on it behind the scenes for a while. Mm -hmm. And it looks so scary, too. Like the sound effects and the, the, like the visuals. That was yeah. awesome. Man. That was a big one too. That changed everything. That's when remakes started becoming more popular. Like right, yeah. right then and there, companies started following suit. Capcom right. made a ton too. So yeah, awesome. That was a good one. All right, so mine's coming up now. This is back when they revealed Sonic Mania. This is like, if you don't know, I'm sure you do. Sonic, before Sonic Mania was going through it. Like there was like hardly any good games coming out. The game last released prior to this was like Sonic Forces, which did not receive uh, a good reception. And before that, it was many years before that, was Sonic Generations, which was one of the better games that came out. But mm -hmm. even still, after Sonic Generations, they kept on trying a ton of games like Sonic Lost World, Sonic. There's another one that like they re rebooted Sonic. He had like a scarf, looked like Nathan Drake, kind of like. I forgot what it's called. Uh, and then they, they had the one that was a knockoff from Mario Galaxy too, right? That's what I'm saying. That's Lost Worlds. That's Lost World. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They they had a bunch of like test games. They tried a bunch of stuff, and Sonic Forces was supposed to be the big one that changed everything because you could create your own character. But no one, not I me, mean, not saying no one. A lot of people didn't care for it and thought that it didn't feel as good as Sonic Generations, and mm. it just was it missed the mark on the music and everything. Um, but this is when Sonic Generations was announced, and everyone was wondering what the heck is going on. They just thought it was gonna be either like a collection bundle because they showed all the games. And they thought yeah. was, people thought I was. Remember, I remember watching this back then. I was like, "Oh, they're gonna bring all the games in, on one disc or something," you know. And then they did. They showed us this trailer. Like I was like, "What?" Oh. See, like, sheesh. I was like, "Oh, cool, a collection of games," you know. I'm like, "This is gonna be cool," you know. And then they showed this part, like it's going back in time. <laughs> Damn. The audience was going crazy. Give me chills. Is that what? <laughs> the, yeah. the old drawings too which is awesome it's like oh shit <laughs> the music uh, is sick oh it wasn't the whole full thing no it was not damn that still was the coolest shit ever, though, man. Yeah. Dude, I don't know, man. I think Sonic Mania is like my favorite Sonic game so far. I think it's a lot of people's favorite. I think it's my favorite, too. Second has to be maybe Adventure 1 and then Generations. Yeah. I See, I like Adventure 1 and, and Adventure 2, but it, they still forced you to play with other characters and... Mm -hmm. I only like playing with Sonic and and Shadow. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But um, all right. Well, yeah, that was my second trailer. This one is different. What's this one all about, Roger? Uh, yes, we're actually going to start this at about fifty three minutes and thirty seconds. Um, if you want to like prepare that, but um, okay. this is going to be the Marvel versus Capcom collection reveal. Uh -huh. um, that that just reveal uh, revealed like a month or two ago. Um, since there is no crowd for this because it was on a Nintendo Direct, I wanted to watch someone's reaction 
to this. Now, multiple multiple people have had this same reaction to where their body was like doing weird shit. And uh, Maximilian actually made a video about this where he looked at a few people that wanted to puke because they were so happy uh. when they announced this. So that's kind of what's happening here. So I wanted to, uh, this, and <laughs> this isn't the only person that had this reaction, but a lot of people have, well, several people have, uh. that they were so happy this game was coming out that they couldn't control their bodies. <laughs> it's just some uh, reaction that came and <laughs> hold back. <laughs> All right, let's get it then, let's see. Yeah. That's more insulting than Ban Ban. That's more insulting than Ban Ban. I like how he's leading up to it. He's, a, he's not even sure. He's not ready for it. He's not ready for it. What? 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 He's like sick. Oh <laughs> god. Where are you? Bro, what? Hit up train. You can't just casually do that. That's it, it definitely was a casual like here you go. Like every Marvel game that existed before 3. And it's in a freaking Nintendo Direct. This is like the last place you think you would see this. Right. Game? Bro, no way to punish your game too. Or listen to music from Are you fucking <laughs> bro, there's This no guy's way. going crazy. Marvel versus what? Fighting Collective. King of Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Okay, this year. It's gotta be on everything. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to cut off right there. <laughs> He's like, <"Bleak." laughs> He's like, I just threw up in my coffee. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that was crazy, man. I remember when I seen that, I was like, this can't be real. Because if you don't remember, like the, they did like a Street Fighter collection back then or whatever, or a fighting game arcade with like all these other fighting games. But only three mm -hmm. of the games were online. Right. Four. I think it was four. Yeah, three or four. Yeah. And it was like seven or eight games in that collection. Maybe even more than that. Like yeah, it was. Five it versions was... of Darkstalkers or whatever, Vampire Savior. And um had... no 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 you're you're mixing them up the the 30th anniversary collection of street fighter they had it actually had 12 games no i'm talking about the four. fighting collection of all the different fighting games like when they were the, they revealed the all one that up. was before this one yeah all all of those were online not all of them not all of them uh they were like ver well maybe they were like I, I think i'm thinking about the wrong one you're right Yo, know, yeah yeah you're right it's some yeah there was a Street Fighter collection that came out, guys. That was every Street Fighter game before four. Yes, that one. And it only had, had four only had four games that were online. And it, yeah. it was like random too. It was like Street Fighter Two, Alpha Two, Street Fighter Third Strike, Street Fighter Two Turbo, and like yeah. something else. It wasn't even like all of them, which should should have been all of them. Yeah, and and those those games, those those four games that were online, those were also the only ones that had a training room. Oh, so it was like half of them were like. More than half of them were not even reach like feature rich. They yeah, just bare right. bones like port. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this one they're gonna have every game online with every training mode and all the other features that they're adding and everything like that, which is cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That and was it's cool. rollback. Rollback too. So. Yeah, rollback netcode guys. If you don't know, that's like the best netcode out. And it, what netcode is is basically like the connectivity between players online. Back then, there used to be like a thing called delayed net based netcode, which is still prevalent in some games. But mm -hmm. people are starting to phase out of it to where now, no matter how far you are in the world, you could pretty much play each other with great connection as if you were next to each other or close to each other. Yep. It's not perfect, but it's the closest thing to perfect. It's yeah, good. a lot better than delay base. The delay base, the farther away they were from you, the worse it was. I'm going to yeah. delete this one and put this one in here and play this one. World premiere. So, world premiere. This is when they showed off DMC5. Okay, mm. now guys, you don't, you probably, some of you probably know, but I am a Devil May Cry fan, obviously, right? Right. Uh, <laughs> and Devil May Cry 4 has, was out like, I think 11 years before they released this trailer. 11 years, man. And I was just like, I didn't even expect anything when they showed it, like any of these trailers. I wasn't expecting Devil May Cry, it was the furthest thing from my mind. But the moment I heard, like, they're demons. Yeah, you'll see. I man, I wish you saw my live reaction. I wasn't even recording back then. I was just like sitting in my bed, 
like mm -hmm. on Xbox party chat with Frank, you know, Charbok and like a couple people. And then we were watching this on, on, on YouTube or whatever. And I was emotional. I was a wreck. I never yeah. really watched reactions of people, other people though. So this would be interesting. Let's check it out. All right. I think when I first saw this, I thought it was another Resident Evil game or like a, like a side game. Yeah. Well, cause this guy in the story, he's a white guy. And the other game, and the other content, like other media. And Devil May Cry's never been this violent like this, like. Right. I remember seeing that and still not knowing it was Devil May Cry. The moment I saw Nero go vroom vroom, I was like. At first, I thought it was a reboot, the reboot sequel. I was like, Nero. I said, Nero! I was like, Nero! I was throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> this is also the first time when we really saw what the RE engine could do. Yeah. The song was hype, too. I was like, what is this? Because I know his arm got like, was possessed and I didn't know what the heck with the mechanical arm was, you know? Mm -hmm. See, I thought this was a DMC reboot sequel where Nero was introduced in a different way. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Instead of having a demon arm, he had a prosthetic, you know? I'm like, this is Johnny Young Bosch, you know? This is the actor. <laughs> one, one of the all-time best um, themes in a video game to me. Most popular, for sure. One of the most, for sure. And then Virgil's theme came out and shit on on everything. <laughs> I was like, whoa! So his arm got ripped off. I remember saying that. Then this logo popped up. I was like, Ooh. I, was, I couldn't believe it, bro. I was like, oh, Dante. I thought he looked really old here. Like they made him look younger later on. You could tell, right? Yeah, like, he was he was in hell and his, and his shit like, grew, it, up, grew out. No, I just I just thought like I think they did. Like if you look at his old renders, like like mm -hmm. from earlier on, he looked a lot older and wrinklier and like dirtier if you will unkempt and i guess they kind of pushed it back a bit they made him look a little younger like mm. in dmc5 like the first trailer like the first reveal of his face was like much older looking you know what i'm saying okay yeah um but they made him look a little younger which is fine i mean i don't care either way but i love this trailer man sometimes i remember i remember when this trailer first dropped i watched it every day like five times maybe more I, I remember watching it multiple times too, just just because of how good it looked, and I was, and I was always thinking like, why can't Street Fighter look like this? Yeah, yeah. Because well, I remember the first RE game or, or game outside of the RE engine was this game, right? Like, I, I think RE Seven was the first one to use the RE engine. Yeah, RE Seven was the first one, but it was very underpowered because they also made that game for VR, so yeah. we, and, uh, we didn't PS4. know it could look like this. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, and it, and yeah, and it was like the, it was this wasn't this like one of the first games to like, not only use RE engine but like utilize like the better techniques. I guess it kind of got better. They they figured out how to use it better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that they and they were they started using ray tracing mm -hmm. event, eventually in it. So yeah, because yeah. RE RE seven was the first one to make the engine, I think, or utilize it. But anyway, yeah, mm -hmm. I watched this trailer a million times. It was like definitely one of the big reasons I like was like happier i was a lot happier in life because of this game's existence and it it came out pretty quickly it didn't take too long for it to come out uh i noticed that capcom is pretty good about that whenever they really reveal something it's coming out like within a year same thing with monster yeah. in the wild do you remember when they revealed that it's coming out next year mm -hmm. around the time they revealed it which is great you know um so yeah guys this is uh pretty fun for us uh anything you want to say roger 
Nope, I think we've we <laughs> said it all. Um, um, we'll put the um the link to the um guy's channel that we um for the MVC collection since we just watched this whole video. Yeah, so yeah. We'll put it in His reaction video. was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even seen it. Um, but yeah, guys, in the in the, in the description. description. Yeah, check him out. Obviously, he's hilarious. But uh, guys, thanks for watching. If you have anything you want us to sh uh, check out, any trailers you want us to see, or something you want us to like listen to music wise, leave a comment down below. We're going to try our best, but no promises on a weekly uploads, but we'll try our best to get one thing out every now and again or two, whatever we feel like doing or however, whatever time we have available. Cause, uh, Roger and I both work five days a week. I work the third shift. So I'm off in the mornings. It's really hard for me to be, even be up right now, to be honest. Um, so thanks again, guys. And, uh, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Hey. See you. <laughs>